Hi everybody, thank you for pressing play on the video today. It's Caroline here from CraftyCarolineCreates.com. Today we are making this very, very beautiful box. I just love it. It is very me. It's very bright and colourful. Um, it's hand stamped DSP. The hugs label is just a belly band that we will slide off like that. And then inside it's a bit special, I think. We've got two matching bright and bold little separate containers. So you could use this, you know, for jewellery. It would be great for sort of if you wanted to separate chocolates, so many things you could use it for. I just think it is a really nice box. And it allows me to showcase one um some new product because we are on um new catalogue week. So all this week, starting yesterday, I am showing you some projects using product from the new catalogue which this uses a lot of them so should we start we're going to do some stamping to begin with so piece of whisper white cardstock measures seven by ten and a half inches our stamp comes our stamping comes from this stamp set which is called lovely inside and out um, and we're going to use this sort of starburst tie-dye effect um, to make a random pattern on our cardstock so i've already mounted that up here it is and the colours, brand new colours, um, Berry Burst and Lemon Lime Twist. So let's do our um, Lemon Lime Twist first. So you know how to do this. You've seen me do this many times before. I'm just going to randomly stamp all over my cardstock. And what I'm doing in my head is trying to leave gaps where I can go back and fill in again with the Berry Burst. Something like that. We can always go back and add a few more if we need to, and maybe spread that out a little bit more than I would have liked to. Just going to clean my stamps. Hmm, I've moved my stamping scrub somewhere. I can see it. Let me just do that. There we go. So that is cleaned, and then we're going to bring in the berry birth, which is this gorgeous um, bright pink. It's a bit more. It's difficult to describe it compared to um, melon mambo. It's not quite as bright bit more purpley so as I said just going to go back and fill in those voids that we left when we did our lemon lime twist stamping and we're building up this gorgeous bright tie-dyed I think tie-dye is a good description for it actually not sure exactly what the designer was thinking of but something like that looks good to me I'm just going to close those inks up um, while we're stamping, we might as well do our tag. So let me move that out of the way. This hugs word, which we are going to um, emboss to give us that lovely um, look. So I have a little bit of um, berry burst cardstock. It measures two and a two and three quarters by one and a quarter inches. I've mounted up the word. Hugs. I'm going to use hugs again. Of course, you could use one of the other ones. Lovely big fun fonts here. Just got my embossing buddy, so I'm just going to very lightly rub this over my cardstock, and that'll just take all of the static out, so that when I do my um, my embossing, the embossing just sticks. The embossing powder just sticks to the stamp set. Okay. Just going to go down. Oh no! Don't drop it like that. Let's turn that over. <laughs> don't drop it it's not a good thing to do just going to do that again let's ink it up again and don't drop your stamp set it's on too big a block that's what the problem is a bit too much embossing powder there right and then I'm just going to step that down in the middle of my cardstock pop that off there we go you can see you get that sort of watermark effect straight away a little bit of scrap cardstock and my white embossing powder just going to sprinkle that over there we go tap that off tap 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 oh don't I'm not having much luck here don't knock it with your fingers so it all falls off just a little few taps on the back and just put that to one side and you can just pour all this powder back into the container to use another time okay and then we need a heat gun so we'll grab that. Just give that a second to heat up. 
hopefully you are enjoying the new catalogue thank you to everybody that has already ordered um, I know that you are loving it this is a stamp set from it that I really like it does come with some gorgeous matching framelits where you can cut out the same letters um, with some thinlets you can just see white's probably the least impressive for heat embossing isn't it oh let me turn that round that just melts and you get that beautiful bright old um, sentiments. I'm just going to put that to one side and we will use that in a second. Now it's time to do a little bit of scoring. So let's start with the piece of paper that we have just stamped. Can you see the top there with the measurements hopefully? Remember all of the measurements are on craftycarolinecreates.com. So we're going to start by scoring this along the long side and we're going to score it at one and a half inches four and a half inches, six inches and nine inches. Turn it round and we'll score it at one and a half inches and at five and a half inches. Okay. The other thing you're going to need is a piece of Berry Burst cardstock and a piece of Lemon Line Twist cardstock. These measure just a little bit less than four um, by five inches. And we're going to score these at one inch on all four sides. One, one. And lastly, at one inch. Okay, perfect. As I have these bits in my hand, let's fold these up first. So we're just going to quickly fold and burnish all of the score lines. Put a bit of rogue embossing powder. Let me just move that out of the way. These colours just go together so well. You know, they, they shouldn't work together, but they just they just complement each other brilliantly, don't they? Then we are going to bring in our scissors and just very simple at the moment box building we're just going to snip up each of these lines, spin that round and up this one and then we're just going to notch out those little corner flaps. Still haven't decided which is my favourite new ink colour. Um, I, I'm using them all actually. Um, I think I overdosed on Fresh Fig a little bit when I was doing my Eastern Palace week, so probably that's my least favourite at the moment. But when I was doing that week, I um, I really loved that colour. So yeah, what? Let, leave me a comment. What is what is your favourite colour? Are you like me and just love them all and can't really pick one? Okay, right now if we were folding this up to make a normal box we would put tape, we put glue on the underside of each of these flaps and stick it inside like that. Because these are going to be liners what is nice to do is stick this to the outside so when you fold it up like that and you look down you don't see the flap. So what we need to do is put our fuse on this side of the flap. So that is with everything facing, we're not bending them over and putting it on underneath as we normally do. Okay, and then just fold and bend those round. And what we've basically made is two little trays. And when we pop these inside our box, we'll not we'll be able to see that it's completely seam free inside. And these tabs are on are hidden sort of between the box and the tray. So Put your fuse on without bending your flaps upside down as you would if you were normally making up a box or a box lid. Okay, and then fold these onto the outside of the box. There we go. So those will fit into a box when we make it, which we will do now. So let's fold and burnish the score lines that we made on our box. Let's lift 
looking good. Just a few more. I do like this pattern and I do like the way these colours work together. Okay, now at this point it is completely symmetrical. So what you need to do is decide which is going to be a base and which is going to be a bottom. So have a look at your stamping and decide which stamping you like best. I think we will go for this for a lid or this for a lid. This for a lid, I think. So this is going to be our lid. So just remember that in a second. The first thing we're going to do is cut up the score lines on either side. Turn it round and do it on the other side. Good, just make sure it's getting there. And then you know what I'm going to see, we're just going to notch those out. Okay. Got it? Have I got it? Sometimes, you know, when you try to do something quickly and it seems to take longer because you're rushing, that was definitely, that seemed to take me forever to do those notches. So, we said this was going to be our, our lid, didn't we? Yeah. So, the two flaps at the opposite end, so this is our lid section, we are going to put fuse, so we're going to bend them over like we do on a traditional box sort of making. And we're going to put fuse on each of these four flaps. I'm just going to then fold these up and we're going to make up the base of our box. There we go. Okay, and then this is going to build, fold over and be our lid that flops over like that. And what I find is if you make this, glue it when it's folded up, you know it's going to fit perfectly. So we're going to put some more fuse on the, these two flaps here. So we're putting our fuse on our stamped bit. Oh. And fold the lid over and then just stick down your lid, your side bits like that. Okay, and there is our box. I'm gonna use my one inch circle punch and we're going to punch out a section like that and that's just a little thumb hole to help us make it um, to open it okay next thing to do is bring in our two little trays and they should just pop in very perfectly yep very nicely inside you can put a little bit of tombow underneath just to hold them in place and you can see what i mean that you don't see the the flaps now and it also nicely hides the flaps where we built a box close it up and the last thing for us to do is to add our little tag belly band so what I have is some here this is the finely woven ribbon in lemon lime twist this is the one that if you shop with me last month you will get a sample of this um, a meter of each color in your thank you gift which will be going out soon there may be a little bit later than normal this month because stamping up um, I couldn't order any more ribbon until the first so I couldn't order any more until yesterday till um, yesterday no Thursday um, so I do need to wait for that to come in and then um, package it up and send it out but please be patient the gifts are coming and it's really good not just ribbon so I've just punched on either side of my um, sentiment we're using this is the quarter inch circle punch handheld circle punch and I'm just going to feed this ribbon through on one side and I'm going to use a glue dot just to stick the ribbon down on one side of my tag okay then we are going to wrap it round our box 
wrap the ribbon round the box like that. Okay. And let's feed it through underneath. Pull that through, okay. And then we're just gonna, once you've got about how much you need, just gonna snip that off. Pull this taut, there we go. You can flip it upside down like I have, that is not a problem, of course. And it actually makes it a lot easier to fix it now. So I'm just gonna make sure the ribbon is straight all the way around. I'm gonna pull this taut and then another glue dot underneath to stick down the end of the ribbon. Okay, and just pull that relatively taut so it won't slip off too, oh, my ribbon's there, so you won't slide off too easily, but not too taut that you can't pull it off. And I just like to neaten this up, you know, I love neatness. So I've just got a little bit, a little scrap of Berry Burst. I'm gonna put some Tombow on the back of that. This is just a bit smaller than the label itself and just stick that down on top. And if you hold that for a few minutes, that will stick. And I'm just gonna twist that over while I do that so you can see the finished box. There we go. Um, you can spend a minute to neaten up the ribbon and then it will look as gorgeous as this one. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that project. I will be back tomorrow, even though it is um, the weekend. It's not a normal video day. I do have videos all week for you showcasing these products, which you can buy now over on Crafty Caroline Creates. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.